Of course, we all know America, we can tell it's a booming business now. America really, really wants to get healthier. I mean, mothers and families and even young people are now they're on the hunt for healthier options. We can see how that business is booming, especially now during the pandemic. Immunity health is on everyone's mind. Urban centers like the city of Detroit we have huge swaths of areas that are desolate food deserts and the food that is in the deserts are of poor quality. Um, we have some of the sickest people living with chronic diseases. Unhealthy people don't live their best lives. And as we all know, we are what we eat and what we drink. That's right. But for thousands of years, and now to a lesser extent, even now, modern age people have been drinking their way to health with fantastic beverages and for good health because they know the healthy power of mushrooms. And we know that power too. And now we want everyone else to know the power. Hi, I'm Monique. And I'm Lauren. And we are passionate about bringing a smart, proven, healthy drink to market with an effective social enterprise business model that lifts the community's health, its people, and its economy. And this is a drink that made a big difference in my life. That's right. Now, since we were five years old, you can see us right here. We were local brownies in the Girl Scout troop together. We've been looking out for each other. And we actually started by growing up in a historically black neighborhood here in the city of Detroit. It's called Conant Gardens, and it really is worth you Googling. We'll talk about that later. But in that particular black neighborhood, there were stable families and there were hardworking families, but the food options were few even there. And the drink options were even fewer. That's right. Healthy. That's right. And so life happened. And as you might know, I was married, Monique was married, three children later for both of us. Unfortunately, after leaving this neighborhood where we lived, as you can see in Kona Gardens, just three houses from one another, we, uh, we both enjoyed, um, I got a degree from University of Michigan, went on to law school. Monique, I went to the service and worked and had a family as well. And she traveled internationally, but then Monique was diagnosed with cancer. Breast cancer, stage three breast cancer. So, and I, at that time, though, she ended up finding out as life what happened that she lived directly across the street from a mycologist, and that is a person who specializes in mushrooms, right? right? So, I decided to take a different approach with my health with my cancer. I decided not to do any radiation, any chemo, and what I did was I learned about a mushroom called a Lucy mushroom, and I learned how to make a tea that would help me. And I started drinking this tea and I ended up didn't have to have any chemo or radiation. I did have a single mastectomy, but I've been cancer free since what, 2006? And she's been drinking the drink ever since. And yes. that's why we really want to share this with the rest of the world. Because after doing research, when we came to my house, I'm taking care of my three children. That lowers your immunity because I got three boys. And she brought this pot. She brought these things. And I later learned they're mushrooms. She made it, and the next day I was better. I mean, the drink was different in terms of the taste, but that was my initiation into the power of the mushrooms. And so since then, we have been on a mission to really share this with the rest of the world. Because it's just so important. Because I felt like I didn't want anybody to have to go through what I went through. And then to share this with them was really helpful. Mm -hmm. Yep. And so this really simple and powerful drink really needs to be available, in our opinion, to the rest of the world and to communities, particularly in distress. So we have been successful as of now. While we are in our infancy, we really connected here in the metro Detroit area. We've been really successful in selling to health food establishments, as well as individuals at farmers markets, etc. And of course, while Rishi isn't really awful to the taste, if you put it side by side next to your average sugary drink, let's just say... It is an acquired taste. So we're finding that lots of people use it in different ways. So what I do is I always use it as a smoothie base. And what we've been doing is kind of selling it that way as well. And also to restaurants, people who are really into health. Now, if you don't feel well or you have asthma, what is the other thing? Colds, flu, 
COVID, it helps build up your immunity. So we're getting a lot of individual customers now as well. And given Detroit specifically in the city that we live in, Detroit's unique opportunities right now for really launching businesses. You may have read that we've been making international news here because of the prevailing rebuilding and restructuring of the city, all the efforts that are putting in place right now to rebuild the city after so much immense loss when the automotive industry took its downturn. So we are really excited about being able to maximize and optimize those continuing opportunities to use our connectivity in the business ecosphere to continue to effectively grow this in reach business to reach really a household name status. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt you guys. Your time is actually almost up. So um, we have to go ready for our question and answer time. Okay. okay. Yep. Yep. But we'll well, wonderful job. Wonderful job. Hello, everyone. I'm on. So I'll start asking questions. Um, one, I just want to say thank you um, both for your journey, um, for what looks like a really lifelong friendship and now a business partnership. And thanks for taking your solutions out into the world. And I'm curious, um, given the population that you're looking to affect and who you're wanting to um, start this, I not that many people like mushrooms to start with, right? And then um, if it's an acquired taste, how does this work? Like, do you start giving out smoothies that taste amazing or, or what is your process there? Can you share a little bit more about adoption? To answer your question, uh, Monique had already jumped in to say, of course, when you um, put the uh, mushroom drink, which we can't say tea because it's not leaves, when you put this in a smoothie, you can't really taste it. It's completely masked. But you know what we're really finding is that when people are initiated in terms of their health, um, you know, it, they'll go for the sea moss. They, they will go for uh, the wheatgrass. They, they, what they really care about ultimately is the end effect. Um, but we just later learned those who want to really kind of mask the taste or just want to make um, a more healthy base for smoothies instead of maybe the almond milk or the oat milk, we're just finding that that has become very creative way for people to do it so businesses have been buying it from us and you know when you go to your smoothie bar and they say what do you want to add do you want your vegan protein or what have you they've been able to opt for the reishi mushroom base and so like church now during covid or different organizations we can actually sell that tea people are buying it now like crazy just because it's such an immunity booster yes and what we were getting ready to mention is just just think of this in a simple word the urban farming uh, network here in the city of Detroit now with all the large swaths of abandoned homes that has become a very prevalent network here in the metro uh, metro Detroit area and so we've been working to collaborate so that we can no longer have to ship these mushrooms in from Oregon but grow them here that's a part of our business model as we want to really employ the disadvantage whether they're youth or maybe they've been incarcerated while growing our own supplies. That's the model. Plus remember the soil. So when you grow mushrooms in soil, what does it do? It replenishes it, it replenishes the soil. And that's what's going on in Detroit. And me being um, working in engineering, like building bridges, I know like when we have soil, it'll be poisoned or something. If you put mushrooms in that soil, it's going to Sorry, Miss, we have to cut you guys. And I don't mean to be rude today, but our time is, is up. So we, you guys did an amazing job. And um, I'm sure you did have more time during the expo to ask more questions. Um, so definitely feel free to be ready to answer a whole lot more questions, but wonderful job.